those of unspecified gender, may I present Jim Robbie and the Wanderers. I'm just saying, maybe we should divest in some clothing. Minor wedding thin after all this time. Well, maybe we can find some clothes in the next town. <laughs> yeah, if we can find some clothes that could even fit her. Why, I ought to fix you if you know what I mean. Come on now, guys. Let's not do this again. What do you mean, again? Come on, Jim Robbie. This is, like, the third argument we've had today. Just today. Well, it's not my fault. Are you saying it's me? I would never, never, never. And you've been doing that for a month now. Are you all right? I'm fine. Look, it's translucent that he's falling apart. Better falling apart than being you. I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. Charlie, no! (sighs) My stuff fell out of the wagon. Charlie, help me get my stuff. No, I'm in pain. Huh. Useless meatbag. Useless? Who's useless? Useless, useless, useless. Stop it! Both of you stop! I can't believe I tried to stop you from fighting when it's impossible! I can't believe everything's so screwed up like this. Did I do this? Is this my fault? Dingo, no, it's not... I... It's your fault! You always do this, you piece of junk! Your fault! Your fault! Your fault! Oh my goodness, are you all right? Uh, I... I'm... I'm... I'm fine. Uh, um, well... You folks look like you should probably get out of the river. Who asked you? You know what? Never mind then. Sorry for bothering you folks. Wait, I'm sorry. For her. You don't need to apologize. She should. Leave us alone. God, you're worse than my brother. At least he's open to the idea of talking. Talking's for losers. Then why are you doing it? Somebody needs to point out how stupid you're all being. (sighs) So are you all okay? Aside from the fact that you're standing in a waist-deep river? I might be on my way to getting better. Maybe. So... Do you always come to the river to give unwanted advice to random strangers? No, I came here to fish, actually. But I'm always in the mood to deal with angry babies. I deserved that. You think? Just get out of the water before I need to actually take care of you. Yeah, let's do that. Darn, my stuff's still in the river. Here, I'll grab your stuff for you. After all, I'm the only one wearing wading boots. How about you, robot man? You gonna get out of the river or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? Alright, I get it. You can float to the ocean if you like. Fine, pull me out. I was gonna do that anyways. I'm not sure if this is everything. Or if it even all belongs to you. Like this ukulele. Is it even yours? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay then. Do you play much? Well, I'm in a band, so yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, with these two. We're Jim Robbie and the Wanderers. We travel around and sing. Speaking of which, are there any towns nearby? We've been walking for days and haven't hit any place yet. Yeah, there's one nearby. It's kind of weird, though. As long as there are people willing to feed and house us for a little bit, it doesn't matter. We have trouble feeding ourselves, let alone whichever rude strangers come by. It's fine. If we could at least get a floor to sleep on that's not outside, we'd be okay. And we'd play songs for you. Hmm. Maybe you can find someone who's willing to house you. At least it won't be as bad as when we stayed with vampires. Zombies, giants, vampires, lobstermen, sirens, now we've seen a lot. (laughs) This town might not even register as anything special for you then. Whatever, as long as your houses are normal. Okay, let me pack up my fishing gear and we'll go. What? Is that a flock of birds linked together by chains? Does this kind of thing happen often around here? Because I don't want to stay in this weird town if it does. You don't have a choice in the matter. You can't even walk. 
You guys might want to step back for this. Those bursts just turned into a bunch of beautiful women. Shh! The prettiest one's gonna talk. Dearest Brienne, how are you? I'm doing well, Queen Fond. <laughs> I told you already, you can stop addressing me so formally. It's too polite to speak to one's beloved as such. All right. What are you doing all the way out here, Brienne? I'm just fishing for some food to feed my little brother. <laughs> you know how us humans are, and eating to eat every so often and such. But I thought the other humans had been healed so they could do this for you. Um, yeah, you did, but um, I wanted to do this for myself. <sighs> Such an admirable quality. But it will not do for the consort of a fairy queen. If you simply want food, ask me. I will make the fish leave their homes for you, just like this. And this is only a fraction of my power. Come with me to the other world, to my home, and you will never have to want again. When will you come home with me, Brienne? <sighs> soon, Fond, soon. That is a promise I expect you to keep. I will see you later, my heart. Always remember that I love you. I'm guessing this isn't Salmon jumping upstream? For once, you get something right, even as you say salmon wrong. Salmon? If it's pronounced like that, why does it have an L in the middle of it? To deliberately trip up idiots like you. Can't, can't you guys stop? Just for a minute. What was that all about? I'm just dealing with a few things. It's nothing I can't handle. Well, you heard the lady. She's fine. Let's just get going to the town. No, no. Uh, Brienne, was it? That's what her girlfriend said. She's not my girlfriend. Oh my god, forget it. Then what are you supposed to call someone who keeps telling you they love you? I don't know, a stalker or something? Come on, do you want to go to the town or what? What's a stalker? Something to do with plants, maybe? You're a stalker. Both of you are. And suddenly I understand why you're all in a band together. Look, I'm sorry if we... I came off as rude. You guys come off as rude? No, no. You guys are just weird. You argue in rivers and form bands with people who make you cry. Rudeness is the last thing you should be worried about. Tango, let it go. She obviously has things handled with Miss Fish out of Watermaker. Speaking of which, can we have some? Help yourself. Oh boy. Fish! You know, if we're going to be here for a while... We should know more about this so we can avoid it. That's none of your business. You're right. I don't want to make business deals with a weird fairy queen. It might, you know, become our business. So maybe you should tell us what your problem is. You want to know what my problem is? Fine. I'm helping two idiots and their immobile garbage can get back to my hometown, where people were dying because every plant other than the friggin' grass refused to stay planted in the ground. But hey, at least that's okay now, because a bird flew up to me and turned into a super pretty lady and told me that she loved me. So she fixes the people, but now she hounds me every so often and repeats that she loves me and she would do anything for me and she asks that I come join her in the other world, wherever the hell that is. But what's going to happen when she figures out that I don't like her back? I don't know. Have you tried talking to her? Did you not listen to me? I can't. If she finds out I don't like her, then we're all dead. Well, what if we talk to her instead? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure she would totally listen to the advice of two random singing weirdos in their waterlogged tin can. I don't think there's any water in here. <laughs> nice sense of humor. If you guys can actually pull this off, I'd let you stay in my house for a little while. 
That is a super tempting offer, but even those idiots won't. We'll do it! Yeah, I want my own bed. You have an extra one of those, right? Yeah, me and Jay live in a pretty big house. You'd probably be able to grab a bed for yourself, if you called it early enough. Called it? Come on, let's go talk to the bird lady. Her name is Fond, and if you do this, you would be my heroes. Well, we're not really heroes. In any case, how do we get to fan Fond? Fond? Well, one time she took me to this house on the other side of town. We're still pretty far from town, though, and if you want to go to the house, it'll be another half-hour walk. If you're trying to change Tango's mind, <laughs> it won't work. Even if you slow her down, she'll do it eventually. Okay, then I'll take you to town, but you'll have to find Fond yourself. I don't want to see her unless I have to. Alright, let's go talk to a queen. A fairy queen. Good luck dealing with her. Try not to die. Thanks. 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 Ugh. It's like the roots are hanging on for dear life. She never mentioned them. How am I supposed to pull this stupid wagon like this? Hey! The wagon is very important and useful! Okay, then you can pull it by yourself. The wagon is also heavy and I would like your help, please. <sighs> Fine. So, have either of you numbskulls thought of exactly what we're going to do once the magical shape-changing fairy queen looks at us? Well, I was thinking that we could, uh, try and butter her up. Then, after she adores us, we'll very quietly and quickly ask the thing we want to know. Why do you so enjoy tormenting human beings by forcing them to love you? <sighs> I want to rephrase that, JR. She might just steamroll over you just like the rest of us. Wait, do you guys see that? Why did you stop? What the? Man, fairy queens are living the high life. I need to ditch these suckers and move in with one immediately. Well, how do we know that's Fawn's house? Who else would want to live in a forest like this, you moron? There's only one way to find out for sure. Halt! Who dares enter the domain of Queen Fan? We're simply musicians, looking to play for the great fairy queen. Wait here and don't move. Couldn't if I tried. 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 That better not be a problem when we sing. Well, I can't exactly control it. Really? I thought you were doing it on purpose. If you're not lying, then... There must be something really wrong. Actually, I feel terrible. Ever since Maryland, I Queen think... Fan has deigned to see you. You may enter. We'll talk about this later, I swear. But now we need to get going while the going's still good. But the going's never good. I didn't think the Fairy Queen would live in such a normal house. I make do with what I can find. You three... Weren't you with Brienne this morning? How is she? Did she send you to profess her love to me? Yeah, did she? Unfortunately, we're not here with well wishes from Brienne, but we have come to pay our respects to you by playing you a song. Several, actually. We hope that they sound good to you. I am not in the mood. What? How could you not be in the mood for music? I have no need to explain myself to you. But my head is pounding, and if I have to listen to some musical garbage, I will destroy this place. Musical garbage? I'm gonna... Mm. Okay, Tango, calm down. You heard the Fairy Queen. Well, if that's everything, then you may leave. And remind Brienne that I love her. You know, Tango, we've done pretty well here. We're still alive, we haven't pissed off Fond. Maybe we should go while the going is good. I'm sure Brienne won't mind too much. No, we said we'd do this, and at the very least, I'll do it. I'm gonna enjoy watching you crash and burn. Maybe even literally. Come on, guys. Your Highness, if we may, I'd like to talk to you about your girlfriend, Brienne. I don't know what I'd discuss with you about it. Uh, well, uh, have you talked to Brienne about your love? 
<laughs> of course I've talked to Brienne about this. I don't know how your love affairs go, but mine are full of much talking. Well, have you really talked to her about um, it? Have you told her how long you want to keep her in the underworld? So you're basically asking her if she's considered Brienne's needs? Of course I have. I love her. I would never do anything to harm her. But have you asked her any of those questions? No, because they don't matter. But, uh, they, they really matter to her. Get out! How dare you talk to me about my relationship? As though you have any idea what is important to either of us. Yeah, but we talked to Brienne and I think we know what she wants. How could you possibly know what goes on in her lovely mind? You have no right. No right at all. Hey, you know what? You're right. We have no right to talk to you like this. Hey guys, let's go. Okay, is the guard following us? Is anyone coming to talk to him? Is he following us? We're fine, Charlie. You don't need to keep holding onto my arm. You're right. If we need to run, I don't want to have anything holding me back. The same goes for me. You're the one who's holding people back. You think I won't give you up the second I get caught? Wait. Wait a minute. Why are we running? I'm not sure how you missed it, but a fairy queen got angry at us for asking about her relationship with Brienne. And she could easily kill us with magic. Or that guy could stab us. Yeah, I know we got her angry, but at least we got her thinking, right? At any rate, we should probably go back and tell Brienne what happened. <sighs> she probably won't let us stay with her. But we should tell her that we tried and that Fawn might be crankier than usual. Because of us. 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 Right. You guys are okay? Yes. Much to everyone's surprise. 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 Hey, I'm sorry I was rude to you earlier. I realized that maybe you guys weren't so bad as you seemed. So, uh, since you guys aren't dead, I'm assuming things went well? Brianna, I'm sorry. I thought talking about the idea of you being unhappy might make her think, but she just ignored us. I can't believe this didn't work. <laughs> That's what happens when you think you get too cocky. What did she say she would do? Why did she let you live? No, it's not like that. So she didn't get mad? Well, she did get mad at us, but we left quickly, so hopefully she's cooled down. Hey, look! Murderous fairy queen up in the sky! Oh, I can't wait to watch you die! Shut up! Brienne. Yes, my... your time... the... fond? Have these three singing liars been filling your head with nonsense? Uh, no, fond. They were just asking me for some fish. You know, because they saw you give me all that fish before, and they were wondering if they could have some... to eat. I'm here to talk to and about you, Brienne. Do you love me? Yes. And of course, in your love, you'd do anything for me, correct? Whatever you asked of me. I would never want to scorn you. But you'd do it because you love me. Absolutely. And I've already demonstrated my love for you, many times, with all the loving actions I've done for you such as restoring the townspeople and giving you food. Yes, that was very generous of you. Because I love you. I did all of that because I love you. And now you are going to do something for me, because you love me. Do you remember how you promised that you would come with me to the other world? Yes. It is time to fulfill that promise. If you truly love me, then you will come with me to the other world. Today, at sundown. Come to the house in the woods. What about the townspeople? Will they still be okay? Will you continue healing them? Why are you worrying about them? What do they have to do with any of this? 
All right. I'll do it. As it should be. What do we do? Nothing. But... All you did was just go have a talk with her, and she does this. Things were fine before, when I could pretend, and it was okay. Brynn, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to do this. Or hurt you. Or hurt you. Or hurt you. Or hurt you. Doesn't matter what you meant to do. Fond wants me to come with her. I'm going. No, you can't. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Maybe you should try talking to her again. She told us that she loves you. Doesn't that mean listening to people? All I know for sure is that just because something is called love doesn't mean that it is. I hate this. Yeah? I hate this more. I never want to see you again. Brienne! Brienne, wait! Tango, you have got to learn when to quit. Yes, I get it. We messed up. But you know how she promised us that we would stay with her? How's that going to work when she leaves? Will her brother help us out? How old is he even? Brienne! Brian, come back, we're sorry! Where... Where did she go? I thought we were right behind her. I... I don't know. She couldn't have gotten far. She lives here. Right? She knew we were following her, and she ran somewhere else. Well, it's... it's a small town! Tango, I don't... I don't think I can take much more running. I don't know. I could go for a few more rounds. We don't need to run. We could just go asking people. Like that guy over there? It's a small town, so maybe he'll know Brienne. Finally! I feel like it's been ages since we saw somebody else. Hi there! We're looking for Brienne. Do you know who she is? Bri- Brienne? Do you mean Brienne Murphy? Well, we never really got to know her last name, so I'm not sure, to be honest. She's got brown skin, dark curly hair, and is about five foot three? Yep, that sounds like the one we're looking for. I'm looking for her too. Where did you last see her? How do you know her? Well, a crazy bird lady who could make fish come out of water stole Brienne! I don't have time for this nonsense. I knew he wouldn't buy it. If you're so knowledgeable, then why didn't you say anything? What else can we say? It's the truth. (sighs) If only we knew where she lived. Maybe we could find her brother and... I don't know, convince him? I'm sorry, did you say Brienne's brother? Yeah, she mentioned she had some baby of a brother named George, I think. No, you forgetting fleshbag. It was J, 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 J. Oh, shut up, Jim Robbie. But yeah, that's it. She just mentioned him in passing, though. Plus, now that I'm thinking about it, how much of a help would he be if he was just some kid? I'm Brienne's brother. What? what? Maybe she meant a different brother. This guy's way too old to be her younger one. No, I'm her only brother. I'm just a year younger than her, but she treats me like I'm five. I... I haven't seen her since yesterday when I mentioned that we were running out of food. I checked the usual places. I haven't been able to find her. Is what you said true? Some bird lady took her? No, it was a fairy queen named Fand... Fond... Fand? Brienne made a deal with her to make the sick people in town better. But now the fairy queen's taking her to the other world. You have to stop her, Jay! She doesn't want to leave! She... saved everyone? She's why everyone got better? We didn't know. You really didn't know? Well, maybe it was wrong of us to assume you were all uncaring jokes then. Help me, please! Where did you last see her? She ran towards the middle of the town, and we tried to chase her, but we lost her. She might still be around. Help me look for her! I'll ask around and see if anyone else has seen her. Okay, sure. You didn't find her? We checked everywhere. But there's no sight of her, and it's getting close to the time Fawn wanted to meet with her. Nobody else has seen her either. You said she agreed to the deal? 
She said yes. We didn't, 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 didn't try hard enough. Okay, but do you know where the meeting is taking place? Yeah. Then take me there. Take us all there. Whoa, all of you? Yes. Brand might not listen to me alone, but she can't ignore everyone. Worst comes to worst, we'll fight the so-called fairy queen and whoever she's got with her. She's not the so-called fairy queen. She actually is one. She made fish fly and cured illnesses. Who knows what else she can do? It doesn't matter. In this town, everyone looks out for each other. They'll do it for her. You sure she doesn't want to leave, though? I could understand if she wants to go away. No, she definitely wants to stay. You're here! She wouldn't abandon you, even if she was annoyed by you. You're right. Hey, all of you, help me get Brienne back for Ocean Creek. These three know the way. Follow them. My, my. This certainly is a large audience. Is this... everyone from the town? Brienne! Jay! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? You didn't tell me anything about running away with some stranger. You three. You ruined things for me again! Don't ignore me, Brienne. What are you thinking doing this? Are you going to leave me? I... Look, you've got this all wrong. Exactly, my darling. Brienne is my beloved, and she has agreed to return home with me. You can't return home if you're going somewhere else. You can make new homes, can't you? Especially when it seems that your old one is falling apart. <laughs> I'm merely stating fact. I am not the one who lies. None of my people are. That's all on you. You might not lie, but you're tricky, like you did with Brienne. When did I trick Brienne? She did it all willingly, because she loves me. She promised me, and if that promise is broken by her or someone else, then I will take my revenge upon the guilty party. So, what about false promises? What? Yeah, uh, Jim, what are you talking about? It's, 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 it's. But what were you saying? What do you mean false promises? What was the promise? Something like, if you love me, you'll come with me to the other world. I think. If she loves her, that's it. Brienne doesn't love Fond. Yes, she does. Fond. Are you even listening to yourself? You're talking about your true love like she's not even there. Stop it! Stop it! Brienne! So what's the truth then? Did you even say I love you to her? Did you make out with her? Jay, no, I didn't. Didn't what? I didn't kiss her. I didn't say I love you to her. Words are not necessary to demonstrate the deep bond we have. Can you stop? You're so busy talking that you don't notice anyone else. Brienne, just say it and finish it. I can't end it. She'll hurt the townspeople. Brienne, what are you saying? Brienne, I'll be so hurt if you leave. And what about you? Won't you be hurt if you leave? Don't you want to stay with me? I do. Then tell her. Tell her the truth. I'm sorry, Fond. I'm not in love with you. So then, what was this for you? Did you enjoy laughing at me? I loved you very deeply, Brienne, and you... used me. I offered you a favor, and you immediately said what you wanted. Was that your intention the entire time? No! All I asked is that you help us not die! I didn't even think you could actually do it! And then you did, and I... I owed you so much! I couldn't just turn you down when you said you liked me. I, I thought it wouldn't be so bad if I pretended to like you back. But then you started getting more serious about wanting me to go with you and I was so scared. And I thought you might stop helping us. So I played along because I was scared and I felt bad. I didn't want to hurt you and then it ended up like this. I am so, so sorry, Fond. I was a fool. I never should have done this to you. I'm sorry as well, 
to have placed such a heavy burden on your heart. I wish I had never made you feel that way. The only thing I can do now is leave. While I still have some dignity. Thank you. Um, before you go... I will continue to leave my gift with you. Your people will be well and live average length lifespans. I cannot do anything about the trees without exerting dire amounts of my magic. Perhaps you shouldn't give up on the plants you need, though. I'm sure you all can find a solution. You have triumphed over a fairy queen. Plants are nothing compared to that. It's not exactly a victory I'm proud of. It is not a battle that I am proud of, either. I wish you the best, Brienne, but you do not need my well wishes. You have proven that you are strong enough to bear all things that come your way. So then, this is over? You think Fan might come back and take you anyways? No, I think she understands that I don't love her. Really? All of that from a short conversation with her? Well, I know that no matter what happens, the town will come out for me. Of course we'd come out for you. It's as much your town as it is ours. Tonight's episode of Jim Robbie was written by Achitha Sanganithi, starring Greg Wiley as Jay, Sadie DePeter as Brianne, Rachel Cardona as Fand, Mako Horikoshi as Charlie, Avogadro's number as Jim Robbie and the Guard, and Ilana Sheramet as Tango, the producer, director, etc. See? I can do this seriously too. I don't always have to tell jokes every single week. But everyone always says, oh look, there goes Gavin, always telling jokes. What a silly guy. Yeah, well you know what? I can be a serious and determined person too. Thank you very much! <clears throat> I mean... Thank you for watching and have a nice day.